I've already looked at evaluating qualitative and, and semi-quantitative methods of evaluating separability between our different regions of interest that we've selected in our image. Now I'd like to go ahead and look at a quantitative measure. So in our ROI tool window, if we go up to options and compute ROI separability, it'll ask us what file we're referring to. So of course this is our, our input dark pixel subtraction image. And to start with, I'm going to choose a, a spectral subset here. So I'm going to select just bands 1 and 2 for demonstration purposes. And OK on that. And OK again. And I'd like to look at the separability between all of my different regions of interest. So I'll select all items and OK. And what pops up is a separability report. So let's have a look at how we actually read this. So first of all, I've got I've got water and it's looking at what the separability of water is with all the different regions of interest that that I've got okay so the separability between water and mangroves and water and burnt areas water and bare ground etc okay it lets me know what color they are in terms of my region of interest tool and how many points have been used to calculate this statistic I've got two different statistics that I'm looking at the Jeffries Matasita and the transform divergence now what we're looking at here is we, there, there are values ranging between 0 and 2 and what we want to have is a value of at least 1.9 which is indicating a, a good separability okay so anything below 1.9 we've got problems in separating those two features so let's have a look here at first of all the separability between water and mangroves in both the Jeffries Matasita and the Transform Divergence Statistics is above 1.9. So we're, that's, that's, got, that's an excellent separability in, within bands 1 and 2 between those two features. Let's have a look though at say for example the separability between mangroves and woody vegetation. Using bands 1 and 2 we have a value of point 0.5 and 0.6 for these two statistics. Now that's not acceptable. So basically that's saying that within bands 1 and 2 you'd have a lot of trouble having uh, finding the difference between mangroves and woody vegetation. So that's the way you read this report. You can have a look at the different features and those values. Bearing in mind this is just looking at bands 1 and 2. If we then go back and go up to uh, options and compute ROI separability again and this time we'll do a spectral subset of bands 1, and th 1, 2 and 3 and OK and OK on that select all items and OK let's have a look again we looked just before at mangroves and woody vegetation in bands 1 and 2 and it had just a separability of, of 0.5 or 0.6 Okay, this time using all using three of those bands, we've increased that separability quite considerably up to almost 1.9 there, or 1.9 rounded up. So that's considerably better just by adding in that extra band. Okay, and you can have a look at the increase in in all those different in all those different combinations just by adding the extra band there. Now the interesting thing is then if we then go on to using use the exact same methods but this time I didn't do a spectral subset okay so I'm using all six bands one bands one through five and seven and I'm going to look at the separability there and what you see there is using those those statistics with all those bands you can see that the the values are mostly two which is the maximum value for just about all of those all of the band combinations you do notice however here we're looking at urban and sand we've still got a very low separability measure there so that's letting us know that we're going to have a lot of trouble in our output classification between when when we're trying to separate between urban and sand areas most of the other ones should actually separate out quite well based on this statistic okay it's not going to be perfect but based on the statistic it is suggesting that these that the separability between these different features is very good in most cases. But however, we don't always want to use all six bands, for example. So the idea is to 
pick which bands are going to provide you that excellent separability using the minimum number of bands. So can you get that same separability using a selection of three bands? And it's up to you to think about which bands are going to be the most useful based on the qualitative measures we used before and testing that in your separability reports.